Coming up next on Trojan News, Trojan fans cheer on their teams and sophomores spend a Saturday team building. These stories and more coming up next on Trojan News. And now, from Studio 100 at Greenville High School, this is Trojan News. Hello and welcome to Trojan News for Tuesday, February 13th. I'm Lily. And I'm Perry. The winter sports season is coming to an end, but the unwavering support of GHS fans never ends. Exciting games combined with fun themes, theme nights, make the stands at GHS sporting events one of the most popular hangouts in Greenville. Fun themes, concession stand food, and loud cheering. Three things every GHS game has. The student section plays a huge part in making all of this possible. And how did the students know to dress? The Greenville Blue Crew Instagram account. Manager Lily Chapman talks about how they find the themes. Um, our main thing we look at is Pinterest for sure. There's a lot of good ideas on there. We try to do stuff that we haven't done before, but that also a lot of people can participate in. Justin Shell, a freshman on the football team, shares his opinion on the positivity the student section brings to each and every game. I feel like it brings a good atmosphere to high school football and Friday Night Lights. And I just feel like, I don't know, it makes everyone excited. Jack Strasser, a valued senior player, shares his perspective on the loud crowd. Uh, yeah, I love it. I love uh, seeing my friends or my uh, classmates up there like, supporting me. Another huge fall sport at GHS is volleyball. Bella Gailey, a setter on the team, talks about the inspiration the student section brings to her. Yes, I get pumped up for my games for my classmates. They help cheer me on and get me excited to play. Jalen Lewis says that the student section never distracts how she plays. No, the student section does not distract me while playing. If anything, it motivates me to play harder. Here at GHS, all athletes support each other. Yes, I support Trojans in other sports as much as I can. I like going to watch um, other sporting events, and I'm also a football trainer, so I'm always on the sideline every Friday. One thing in common with everyone's answers here at GHS is that the student section brings school spirit. I think it's important because without school spirit, no one's really having fun, and like school spirit just keeps energy up. Hannah McKinney talks about why she thinks the energy is always up. The volleyball games and football games and like any fall sport is like a place for people to hang out here. And I think it's important because like everybody's already excited to be with their friends. So they're like twice that energy is like coming off on the field and on the court. So it's like super like fun for the players and just everyone knows it's a good place and like all good energy. As you can see, here at GHS, the student section is a must-have at each game because even after a tough loss, the energy never goes down. Approximately 55 members of the GHS Class of 2026 descended on Camp Nazareth for a day of fun, fellowship, and lessons on Saturday, February 3rd for the annual sophomore retreat. This would have been the 40th year for the retreat, except it had to cancel for two years during the pandemic. Attending a 14-hour school event on a weekend might seem like a hard sell, but it would be difficult to find anyone who has attended the event over the last 40 who hasn't enjoyed the experience and benefited from the lessons learned. It was very fun, it exceeded my expectations, and it was nice to be with all the kids in my class, and the hypnosis show was very fun to be part of. A new scholarship in honor of Dr. Kirk Works is now available. Applicants must have at least a 3.3 GPA and be seeking a degree in a health field with an emphasis in clinical care, with preference given to students planning to study biology or chemistry as pre-medical fields pharmacy, physician assistants, physical therapy, occupational or speech therapy, psychology, nursing, clinical nutrition, or social works. The deadline is April 1st. Stop in the guidance office for more information. Any student interested in applying for the Career Center for the 24 to 25 school year should apply online through the Mercer County Career Center website by February 20th. No paper applications will be accepted this year. There will be a blood drive on February 21st. Students 16 and older, please consider signing up to donate. Donating blood is a direct way for individuals to be real life heroes, as each donation can save <coughs> up to three lives. It's a simple yet powerful act that makes a powerful impact in the community. Sign up to donate in high school office. 
Turning to local news, after seeing a decline in population over the past several decades, legislators and the leaders in different sectors came together last week for a public hearing about population changes throughout the center of Pennsylvania. Things such as access to quality health care, education opportunities, jobs and careers, as well as affordable housing are being examined. Barry and Linda Oman were awarded one of Teal College's highest honors last week, the Lois and Barbara Teal Distinguished Service Award. On top of being four-year letter winners at Teal, the Omens have helped to raise hundreds of thousands of dollars to combat cancer, helping to overhaul Riverside Park amongst service with Rotary and the Greenville Area School District Educational Foundation. Teal College, students, Teal College Student Government Association came up with a way to beat the winter blues as they had the first ever Domeathon on Friday and Saturday in the Teal Dome. It's 24 hours straight of nonstop entertainment, which included games, live music, karaoke, and an inflatable obstacle course. And they raised $1,534 from the event, which they in turn donated to AWARE. That's all for this week's episode of Trojan News. Be sure to follow our YouTube channel for the latest in school news. For Trojan News, I'm Perry. And I'm Lily. Have a great day.